Celine, don't forget your glasses. Mom called out to me as I walked across the lawn to my new college dorm room. I wish she'd just go home already. I loved my mom, but she reminded me of a life I wanted to leave behind. Throughout high school, everyone said I was a nerd. It's okay to be a nerd. Some of the richest people in the world were school nerds. That was mom's idea of a pep talk whenever I came home sad because some kid at school bullied me. Graduation couldn't have come soon enough. When I got accepted to my college of choice, I was super excited. But my excitement died down when I imagined that it would be like high school all over again. Celine! I was startled by my mom. Oh yeah, the glasses. I said as I walked back to the car. Thanks, mom. Have a safe trip back. Are you sure you don't need me to help you unpack? I'll be fine. Go. I wasn't planning to unpack just yet because I had appointments to get to. First with the optician, to have my glasses replaced with contacts, and then with the hairstylist right after. Then I was going to have my first kiss. Somewhere in there, I plan to study too. Before I wow you with my new look, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Also, hit that notification bell. My first kiss depends on it. Hi, is this seat taken? Charlie, a guy in my class, asked me. Charlie was the male version of me in high school complete with thick glasses, a heavy backpack, and a sweater vest. Uh, yeah, it's taken. Celine was reserving it for me. Scarlett, my new friend, walked past Charlie and sat in the empty seat. Scarlett and I met at the mall when I went shopping for clothes to go with my new look. She was super popular and had a huge following online. Charlie nodded then went to look for another seat. You're welcome. Four. Girl, please, you don't work so hard to look like that just so you could date the class nerd. He just needed a seat? Nobody said anything about dating. Please don't tell me you feel sorry for him. Not really. It's just that he reminds me of someone I used to know. What I meant was, he reminded me of someone I used to be. Whatever, I need you to come with me to some boring meeting. The boring meeting turned out to be with Steve. A guy who needed Scarlett to advertise his new dating app on her Instagram page. The app is called Blind. We named it that because unlike other dating apps, users cannot upload any photos of themselves or use their real names. What? How are people supposed to find each other? Through their likes, dislikes, common interests, and stuff like that. Scarlett looked bored. Whatever, tell me what you need me to post. All you have to do is tell your followers about the app and how it works. Done. Scarlet replied as she got up to leave. There's one more thing. Blind will get more downloads if you sign up and announce you're looking for a match. <laughs> I don't need an app to find a date. Of course not, but we're willing to pay double the amount if you keep your profile up and running for a month, then pick one guy to meet for one dinner. A few hours later, Scarlet posted a video of herself creating a profile on Blind. The video already had more than 500,000 views. Wow! Blind already has over 1 million downloads. Must be the guys hoping to go on a date with me. Scarlett was not known for being humble. An incoming notification pinged on her phone. Another match? Scarlett made a face. Yeah, I don't get it. I made my profile as boring as possible. What do you mean? Here, see for yourself. She tapped the blind icon on her phone screen. I don't understand. Whose profile is this? Scarlett smiled proudly. Mine! Since when do you like going to the library and watching the History Channel? I don't. I just wrote that to confuse people. Even I was confused. But don't you have to chat with several guys until you pick your dinner date? Yeah, so? So your profile basically says you're a nerd. Meaning you'll attract fellow nerds? You don't even speak nerd. You do. Huh? Come on, Celine. I know all about your Extreme Makeover College Edition. You may have changed your look, but you're still the same girl. I haven't told anybody. Your secret is safe with me. I smiled in relief. So, I was thinking... Scarlet tapped her long manicured nails on the table. You could take over my blind profile. Take over? Accept chat requests and reply to chats for my matches. But how will you pick your date if you don't chat with them yourself? You'll pick... All I have to do is show up and look hot as always. What if he wants to keep seeing you? I'll just let him down easy. Scarlet was so smart, it was scary. Something funny? I looked up to see Charlie standing in front of me. I was sitting on a bench in between classes. Huh? 
you were smiling just now. Oh, it's nothing. Just this guy I've been talking to online. He's really funny. Lucky guy. It's nothing serious. We're just getting to know each other. So, if I asked you out for coffee, there's a chance you'd say yes? I didn't hate Charlie. In fact, he seemed kind and interesting. It's just that Scarlet would not approve. Um... I guess I may have my answer. He said as he started to walk away. Why did I feel like I just kicked a basket full of puppies? Another chat popped on my screen, and I smiled even before I read it. It was from Archie, one of the guys that matched Scarlett's pseudo profile. We had been chatting for two weeks now. He was smart and funny. I was starting to get butterflies in my stomach every time my phone pinged. So, don't you think it's time we met? Dread filled my stomach when I read his newest chat. I really wished I could say yes, but this was Scarlett's account. In about one week, the blind Scarlet dinner date, as Steve called it, would be happening. A few days earlier, Scarlet asked me to pick her date for the dinner, and I picked Archie. She also requested I go with her. Why? People are expecting to see you and Archie. I'll just be in the way. You won't be. Steve will reserve a table for you to sit alone. Imagine setting your boyfriend up for a date with another girl. Now imagine sitting a few tables away and watching them the whole evening. Yep. Definitely not fun. Not that Archie was my boyfriend or anything, but it was definitely heading in that direction. Too bad it was about to blow up in my face. Wow, you look stunning, Scar. It was the evening of the dinner date and we were in Scarlet's room getting ready. When Archie was contacted and informed that he'd been chatting with Scarlet the whole month, he immediately said yes to the date. Thanks. Now tell me again, Archie is in college, loves math, has a pet named Sauce. What else am I forgetting? That he likes me, not you. I wished I could say that out loud. Steve sent a limousine to pick us up. I felt like a celebrity. The venue for the date was elegantly decorated with flowers and beautiful lighting. There was even a red carpet. A crowd was already gathered. All right, girls, let me show you to your tables. Once Scarlet is seated, Archie will walk in. Ready? Steve said as he led us inside. He was wearing a tuxedo. I was excited to see Archie for the first time, but also sad because he wasn't there to meet me. As soon as we walked in, Scarlett smiled and waved. How could this be so easy for her? I was sweating bullets. Steve directed me to the table I'd be watching the date from. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. I know we're dying to see the guy that had Scarlett's attention for a month. Ladies and gentlemen, Archie. I couldn't look. I shut my eyes tightly and tried to control my breathing. What the heck? Is this a joke? Scarlet sounded mad. I immediately opened my eyes and froze. Charlie? You're Archie? I couldn't hide the shock in my voice. Yeah, hi Celine, surprise! He tried to smile, but I could tell he was very nervous too. Steve had a camera trained on Scarlet. Did you know? Scarlet turned her full wrath on me. Scarlet, I swear I didn't. No what? Scarlet completely ignored Charlie. Why should I believe you? Tell me you didn't set me up so I could be humiliated. What's humiliating about being on a date with Charlie? <laughs> He's a really nice guy. He's also really smart. Unbelievable. Did you develop feelings for him when you guys were chatting on my account? What? This dinner was getting more disastrous by the minute. You know what? I don't care. He's all yours. Steve, I'm sorry, I can't do this. A few minutes later, she was gone. Steve paced the floor, scratching his head. We could still save this. How? Scarlet would rather eat glass than be seen with me. Steve looked at me. Scarlet said you were the one chatting with Archie, sorry, Charlie, the whole time, right? Yeah. Where was he going with this? How do you guys feel about continuing with the dinner? I was about to say no, but then I realized this was it. This was the day I dreamt about for the past one month. Archie was right in front of me, and all I had to do was say yes. I turned and walked towards the exit, just like Scarlet did. When I got to the door, I turned and walked back towards Charlie, smiling and pretending I was seeing him for the first time. Hi, I'm Celine. So not cool. I thought you were gonna walk out on me too. Charlie laughed. He looks so relaxed now. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Dinner went great. We ended up talking for hours. <laughs> to my relief, he wasn't mad or anything. At the end of the evening, the limousine drove us back to my dorm room. This must be what being in a fairy tale feels like. I thought to myself as we said our goodbyes. 
Over the next few weeks, Charlie and I went out for more dates. We sat together in class and held hands while walking around college. Adorable, right? Now if only I could gather the courage to kiss him. One evening, I was getting dressed for a date with Charlie when Scarlett knocked on my door. We hadn't seen or spoken to each other since she walked out on Charlie weeks ago. Steve came running behind her. Did you know? Was she broken or something? I already answered that question weeks ago. Nice to see you too, Scar. And no, I didn't know that Archie was Charlie. And why are you so mad still? You still got paid. Just then, Charlie walked in, carrying a bouquet of flowers. He immediately tensed when he saw Scarlett and Steve. Is everything okay? Charlie, hi. About the other day, I'm so sorry for walking out on you. No hard feelings? Yeah, sure. Maybe we can go for coffee soon? I'm sorry, what? Why was she being nice all of a sudden? I'm so sorry, boss. I thought you already told Celine, so I told Scarlett. I was going to tell Celine the truth tonight. I was so lost. The truth about what? The truth about who he really is. Charlie is my boss, and also the brains behind the blind app. Oh, for God's sake, if Steve won't say it, I will. Celine, your boyfriend is a freaking billionaire. I can't believe I gave him to you. So many things went through my head at once. I said what came to mind first. Charlie is not my boyfriend. At least not yet, but I was going to ask him to... I think Celine and I need to have a talk. Alone. Steve nodded and walked out. Scarlett reluctantly followed him, but not before she asked Charlie to call her about that coffee date. Yeah, that was not going to happen. So, this whole thing was you testing your app? What? No! Okay, at first, yes. When I created my profile, I didn't expect to meet anyone special. But then we talked for a month and I was dying to meet you. Even though our first meeting wasn't exactly planned, I still had a great time. I'm sorry I didn't tell you right away. I was going to tell you tonight. I'm a little mad you didn't tell me right away, but I'm sure you had your reasons, especially after that whole thing with Scarlet. If I was being honest, I'd also hidden a few things from him, though nothing as big as him being a billionaire. That was going to take a while to get used to. Are we still on for dinner? Yes, we have so much to talk about. On our way out, we bumped into my mom. Mom, what are you doing here? Celine, is that really you? You look so different. Mom, is everything all right at home? Everyone's fine. I'm here because your new glasses got delivered. Dr. Sloan said your old ones were due for a replacement. But I see you don't need them anymore. Actually, I do. I said as I took the small package from her hands. Charlie, meet my mom. Mom, meet Charlie, my... Boyfriend, it's nice to meet you. While Charlie and Mom got acquainted, I rushed back into my dorm room to remove my contacts. A few minutes later, I walked out, wearing the glasses Mom brought. So, what do you think? Wow! Charlie adjusted his glasses as he walked towards me. Why are you so nervous? What makes you think I'm nervous? You just adjusted your glasses. I used to do that all the time when I was nervous. Charlie was standing really close to me now. I'm nervous because I'm about to kiss you. I adjusted my glasses too, and we both smiled. And that, my dear viewers, is how I got my first kiss. Thanks for hitting that notification bell. Hitting that notification bell. Hitting that notification bell.